Hey everyone, Dave K here to get a bison burger. Ooh, delicious. Hey everyone, Dave K here today at Wilderness Lodge. You're gonna be grabbing one of my all-time favorite burgers in a Disney resort or in Disney Park. So really, on Disney property. One of my favorite burgers on Disney property. Coming to get it right here. I love that bison burger, absolutely fantastic. Let's check it out. Some things you may or may not already know here. I feel like the bison burger can be a little bit more expensive than some other burgers or some other quick service items you can get on property, but I feel like it is definitely worth it. A delicious option here and it's got some great flavors to it. Now, I like to get extra sauce. I'll dip that extra blackberry sauce and that garlic sauce in the fries on the side, so it makes it absolutely fantastic. Really looking forward to it here today. And I think today I'll sit inside because it's quite cold outside, but we'll see what kind of seating we can find. If you haven't seen the Wilderness Lodge before, really grand feeling here in the lobby. Absolutely fantastic. Love the sort of space available here in this auditorium reminds you of the wilderness and almost like camping in a sense, but you've got this kind of cabin feel here in the lobby. And out back is where you'll find that bison burger. We're going out back kind of to the right up there. Once we make it out the door, we'll grab ourselves a bison burger. And you can see what the seating and the scenery looks like out there as well. Another thing here at Wilderness Lodge regarding that bison burger, some of the theming, some of the views and some of the scenery that you'll see while you're eating that burger can be absolutely amazing. So there's a couple different seating options. You can do it kind of like a table service where you sit down and you get served kind of under this tent area, which I'll see if I can show you that as well. And you can kind of take that burger to go. And one of those spots that you can sit at least sometimes is by the water. You get an absolutely beautiful view here by the water. So you've got great options with that one. Again, you can turn it into a table service or a quick service depending upon what you prefer. And it's, it's in a pretty convenient location. You know, if you're thinking about some sort of food options, especially near the Magic Kingdom. If you're looking at resorts near the Magic Kingdom, this is pretty close to the Magic Kingdom. You know, it definitely keeps you in that same neighborhood at the same time. It's a little bit more accessible than some of the other Magic Kingdom resorts. So this one's closer to like an Epcot than maybe contemporary might be. Just something to keep in mind as well. But I really love the theming overall, being able to walk outside. And it's definitely getting warmer here today. You know, I was quite cold earlier here. I'm still a bit chilly but just to be able to enjoy the scenery. I feel like this resort has some of the most beautiful views and some of the most beautiful scenery if you're looking for sort of that outdoor feel. It's got a great sort of northwest feel to it where you can enjoy the water and you can look out at the beautiful structures and how it looks like, again, camping. It also looks very classic, again, sort of northwest. and gives you that feel of being in the woods and as if you're really immersed with nature. So I like that aspect of the resort as well, but that bison burger is definitely my favorite part. Here at Wilderness Lodge, enjoying some of these sights, enjoying the feel of the Wilderness Lodge. Definitely a great place to spend some time. And it's nice that you can, again, enjoy that open air and enjoy the very naturey feel here at the Wilderness Lodge. It it's really makes you feel like you're immersed in the nature and immersed in those campgrounds or that natural world. So I really do enjoy it. As we are here at the Wilderness Lodge, you can see all kinds of different theming here. Look at how you've got the resort with that natural kind of stone structuring to it. And you've got the natural wood feel of some of the resort uh, hotel rooms here. So definitely it has that natural feel like you're really immersed in the woods. And as we're making our way here over to the Wilderness Lodge, where we'll get that bison burger at Geyser Point, you'll see that there is, again, that table service and that quick service option. So interesting setup here today. For some reason, it looks like the tarp is down on this table service location, but you can see the quick service location still over there as well for that bison burger. Really have your choice here, and you can always talk to one of these team members if you're looking for some seating for that table service, but I'm gonna go here for that quick service here today. And the bison burger is $16 here from the quick service. So definitely, again, one of the more expensive burger options if you're looking for a quick service burger. Definitely on the pricier side, but it's got such unique flavor and such great flavors with some of those sauces. In my opinion, definitely worth it if you're feeling like that fantastic, delicious, again, strong blackberry flavor, strong garlic flavor. And I always get some extra sauce on the side as well. So I'm gonna dip my fries in there. Just something for you to keep in mind. If you like those extra sauces, get a couple of those extra sauces on the side. You can dip your fries in there and that kind of thing. You can tell I'm excited for it. Absolutely love the flavors on this one. And again, touching on these views here, you can see all kinds of water, natural water flow, all these grassy areas. Sometimes 
you'll see some water spray up from that area over there. So really, really cool setup to it. And then back here behind us, you've got that lake view. So looking out at the lake, being able to see the boats go by or being able to see the fireworks or anything else you might be looking for. Really, really nice views over there. This is one of the things I really like about Wilderness Lodge as well. Making my way towards this lake here, and part of me is wondering if maybe the tarps here are closed on the table service part of Geyser Point because it's cold out here and maybe that keeps the heat in. So that's a really cool thought as well. If it does, that's definitely a selling point of those curtains there. Glad they have that set up, hopefully to keep those people warm. But you'll see you've got seating here as well, and the seating is right across from the lake view. So again, you can see those boats coming in back there. Really, really awesome sights to be seen. It's just such a nice feeling to be able to relax and eat your food even, eat your food right over here and sit back and relax and look at the water while you're eating. So that's something I absolutely love to do. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be doing that today again just because it's so cold. And if you sit out here too long, it just feels really uncomfortably cold. For me, too uncomfortable to sit out here while I'm eating. I'm gonna be heading inside and eating inside instead, but really nice to take some time, see this, be able to share it with you and show it with you. And you can see there's very few people out here today, even in those seats right behind me here. And I think that's because it is so cold. And most people are worried about just feeling too cold while they're out here. But nice to be able to, again, see this nature and see the water behind us as we're waiting for our food. So I've got myself a seat here indoors right by the Roaring Fork. So it's nice warm seating here inside as I eat my burger. And I got my extra sauces on the side here as well. You can see this is apparently a Marionberry. So kind of like between a raspberry and a blackberry. And that other garlicky sauce, maybe like a garlic aioli. Not really sure what that one is. But this box is nice and full here today. Check that out, got the burger in there with those fries. And I usually get the burger with the fries as well, although they did give me some options. Looking forward to digging in here and enjoying this one. And here's a closer look at that burger. I think this is one of my favorite burgers, honestly. It's quickly grown to be one of my favorite burgers of all time here on the Disney Resort property and all the Disney property here. This burger's fantastic. Again, especially with that extra sauce on the side. I will be dipping some of that in the burger and be putting some on the fries as well. So definitely worth trying this one. Just finished my bison burger here and it was fantastic. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. So what I like to do with the extra sauces is I used the, a lot of the garlic sauce and put that on the burger, or a lot of that extra marionberry sauce I put on the fries. So just letting you know my strategy here for utilizing that extra sauce. It really is fantastic with some great flavors on that one. I am pretty full here, but not like super full. So I feel like it was a good amount of food, but not too much at the same time. And definitely one of the more delicious burgers I feel like on the different property, on the different parks and in the different resorts. So if you're looking for a great burger, some fantastic flavors to that one. There's not too much sauce, I feel like, on the burger. So I like to get that extra sauce on the side, again, to put on the burger as well as on those fries. But that's definitely the highlight of this burger as well. I love getting it with the extra sauce. And if you're not a person who eats meat, if you're looking for some vegetarian, some vegan options, that is totally acceptable as well. I would advise you still try those sauces. You know, if your friend's getting the burger, maybe you're like, hey, can I get a couple of the extra sauces? Or just ask for those sauces uh, by themselves with maybe some fries or something like that and see if you want to put that on your burger or not on your burger but on your fries or on your salad or something along those lines because it's really really good thanks so much for being a part of the fun with me today what did you think of this delicious adventure and what do you think of the bison burger are you a fan do you like this one have you gotten it before let me know your thoughts in the comments below I'd also love to hear what you'd like to see more of. Are there any restaurants or different food places you want to see me try and give you my thoughts on? Would love to share those with you. But definitely enjoy taking the time to eat some new foods, try some new places, some of the same as well, and give you my thoughts on them because there are some fantastic flavors out there and I do enjoy a good burger. If you haven't already, for more fun family-friendly adventures, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed. And check out my Twitch channel as well in the description below. You'll see I've got one more YouTube channel as well. If you check on the end screen, you'll see that one there for the gaming adventure. So Twitch and that other YouTube channel for some gaming adventures. Make sure you check those out as well. Thanks so much for being a part of the fun with me today. And until the next adventure, play on. Another thing here on the Bison Burger. Some of the seating and some of the 